am having the most fun I've had designing in so long lately thanks to two of my favorite platforms right now and that is Mid Journey and Repper. I'm telling you, combining these two is like having superpowers. By your powers combined, I am Captain Planet. I'm so excited to show you how to make your designs stand out even more than they already are. Are you ready? Let's go. So these are a great example of the types of designs that I have been making using Mid Journey and Repper combined. It has been so much fun. I feel like I'm getting next level designing happening and plus it's, you know, it's new so it's fun and um, this is kind of a way that I have been able to stand out. So first things first, let's hop over to Mid Journey and get started with some really simple prompts. So I'm in my Mid Journey server right now and if you are brand new, like a Mid Journey baby, never opened the platform, uh, then you will want to check out the video up there in the cards because it is going to walk you through. It's very basic, right out the gate, how to use Mid Journey Discord, etc. Um, and so you'll want to check that one out. If you've been in here before, then we are just going to be jumping in right now. And what I want to do is design some designs that have to do with Christmas or the holidays, some designs that have worked for me in the past and pretty much every year. Products that are always work for Christmas is something to do with a red truck and a Christmas tree. <laughs> Believe it or not, every year those designs sell. So I'm going to go ahead and type in our prompt uh, backslash imagine and I'm going to do very basic prompting, old fashioned red pickup truck with a Christmas tree in the back, right in the bed of the truck, in the bed of the truck, white background. So I'm thinking this year um, with retro designs really being popular, uh, normally like last year it was like all about the watercolor. This year seems to be, we really like those retro, um, retro colors, retro shapes, etc. So I'm thinking we could do red pickup truck with a Christmas tree in the bed of the truck, boho style color palette and a retro Christmas card style. Okay, and then I'm just gonna hit enter and we are going to see what our prompt gives us. All right, so let's see what it has given us. We are going to just make this a little bit larger so that we can see. All right, so I really like this one here. Obviously we didn't get that Christmas tree in the pickup truck look necessarily here. I mean, it kind of just looks like the trees are behind the truck, which is fine. Uh, this one is weirding me out. Uh, this is definitely an old school, um, this definitely gives me the retro vibes. Uh, so we might use that on a different project. So I want to change up our prompt a little bit. I'm going to just copy it, control C, and then backslash imagine control V but I'm going to adjust the prompt a little bit. So we have old fashioned red pickup truck with a Christmas tree in the bed of the truck. I think what I wanna do is pickup truck hauling a freshly cut Christmas tree uh, using boho style color palette and a retro Christmas card style on a on a white background. Okay, let's give that a try and see if that gives us a little bit better results. I did like the first option. Uh, I just think it could be a little bit better. So we're gonna see what it comes up with. Okay, so I'm just gonna blow this one up a little bit so that we can see a bit closer. I really love this design right here, the second design, I'm loving that. So that's number two, so we're gonna upscale number two. And then going back to our first round here, the one that I really enjoyed was this third, or was the fourth option here. And so I wanna upscale the fourth option on this one as well. All right, and then what I wanna do for Repper is I want to get 
uh, some sort of clip arts that we can use to create a pattern out of. So going off of the same style theme, let's do uh, backslash imagine a set of retro colored Christmas clip art on a white background. Now that is a very, very basic prompt, but I kind of want to see what it comes up with and go from there. It might be enough because whatever we get out of this, we're going to be putting into wrapper anyway. So what we're really trying to get is just either some really cute clip art or where we want to get some sort of uh, cute design, uh, the colors. We just kind of are looking for something to spark an inspiration for a possible pattern that we can get out of Repper. So the end result that we're looking for in Mid Journey is not for like perfection at the end. We're looking for kind of a starting point to use in Repper. All right, so let's blow this up and see what we have here. I like this one right here and thinking this one right here would both complement the trucks. So let's do upscale of number one and number four. Phase two, after we have our images from Mid Journey, we need to upscale them to a high resolution image. So my first image I'm gonna do is this one right here, and I'm going to load it into upscale.media. I'll put a link in the description below to this one. I do love this upscaler, I think it works really well. And I'm going to enhance the quality as well as upscaling it to four times what it is now. Then we're just going to download the image. Okay, so when we go to pull this design into Repper, I want you to take notice of the design that we upscaled in Mid Journey right here. It's a PNG file and it is 1024 pixels by 1024 pixels. The one that we just upscaled is 4096 pixels by 4096 pixels. Very big difference and you're gonna end up getting a way better product in the end if you upscale after using the Mid Journey Upscaler. So I'm just going to select my upscaled image here and we are just going to find a pattern that we think is going to look good with our truck. Now I already love the colors obviously, but I did choose the cross pattern and I'm thinking if we were to shrink this or move this over just a bit, we can get a whole, the whole Christmas tree in here. All right, so I wanna test out a few different patterns. Obviously this is the entire thing and it then takes it and turns it into a pattern, which could be exactly what we want, I'm not sure. So let's just go through and see what it would look like to have the entire image selected and then go through and see the different seamless patterns that we have. Now I want seamless because I want the ends of my tumbler, because I'm creating a tumbler design. Uh, I want the ends of my tumbler to meet on the sides. Uh, they just sell better when they're seamless. You don't have to have seamless, but in my experience, they sell better people when they're making their tumblers. If you don't see a seam, their, their stuff just looks more professional in the end. I like this one, the Persian star. I like the the idea of the circle. So let's see if we can get more of a specific shape in there. If we do this, we can get this, this um, circle shape in there. I like that. This could be a really cool pattern. I don't know if it's a pattern that somebody would necessarily want on a tumbler, so that's something to also keep in mind. So let's go ahead and change to something a little, a little more bold, I guess, so that we can choose the shape a bit better. So I like choosing this shape right here, and then the Caro, tiling, I think that looks really, really pretty. I think that's gonna look really great putting our truck in the center here. I think that's gonna look really great. So we are going to go ahead and export. And when I export for a, I do it at 9.2 because my canvas for a tumbler that's a 20 ounce skinny tumbler, which is what I primarily design for, is 9.2 by 8.3. So I'm just going to make it a square that's 9.2 by 9.2. That's going to make sure that my edges are gonna meet up. Everybody say hi to Henry. <laughs>
<laughs> Henry has grown, my friends. Look how big he is. Look how big he is. Let's insert a picture of me and Henry before and me and Henry now. Henry, say hi. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and save it here. I'm going to name it uh, Christmas Tumblr Test. Good enough for now. And then uh, let's head over to Affinity Designer so that I can put all this together and we can see what it looks like. Okay, so we are now in Affinity Designer and I am going to just pull in our background image. So the pattern that we created from Repper and we're just gonna place it onto our canvas here. Again, my canvas is 9.3 by 8.2 because I'm currently working on tumblers and I am working on Christmas tumblers currently. There we go, and I just look over here to the side and make sure that it is in fact 9.3. So as you can see, I stretched it out and I got 9.2, so just make sure that it is in fact 9.3 in the width, and then I make sure that I go up here and I align it via the center so that I know that it's going to line up on those edges. Remember, when you're doing a tumbler, it doesn't matter if the top and the bottom are going to line up because they're never going to touch. What matters is that the side uh, lines up perfectly in a seamless pattern. From here, I'm going to grab our truck that we have already upscaled and I'm gonna put that right on top. And this is kind of where the magic happens. This is where everything starts coming together. Now you can do this a few different ways. You can put this uh, into um, Canva if you wanna take off the white background or you can do what I'm enjoying doing, and that is going to the Pixel Persona and going to the Eraser Tool, and then choosing some sort of brush that is more like a rustic feel, and I just start erasing. And this is just what I have enjoyed doing because I like to have that little bit of white on the edge but it's, you know, it's all preference. And I just go through and I erase the parts that I don't want. And I just feel like it helps it look all one and less like, oh, she just put clip art on there. Kind of gives that white on the edge, I feel just kind of gives it that kind of uh, bleached look. All right, there we go. So that would be my Tumblr wrap. Now I could add Merry Christmas or Tis the Season or you know and anything else to that, but that is how I am personally enjoying using Mid Journey with Repper right now. Let me show you just an example real quick of what it looks like on a Tumblr. All right, so I am just going to grab our design here and we are going to place it right inside this tumbler so that we can get a good idea of what it will look like. And there we go. So cute, I love that. I love using and incorporating Mid Journey AI and Repper because I love Repper's ability to make the different types of patterns. And I, I love using Mid Journey because I love being able to get this really cool artwork done so quick and so fast within the color palette and the style that I love. So I hope that you guys are going to give this a try. Please let me know if you do. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up because it's super helpful. And if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you get notified every single time I post a video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.